Yeah, um, I'm trying to clean my African land snail. That's the giant African land snail. Um, a lot of people do not know how to clean it. This is where the slime stuffs are. You have to cut it open. Then I'm using something called alum. I don't know what they call it in your place, but I know it's called alum in my place. You use it to rub it so that the slimeness would go off. Scrub it very hard. When you use the lime, the lime doesn't work as good as this. Yeah, this, are the, this is the place where the slimeness. Um, after that, I scrape it because this is a very dirty, I don't know what to call it. You see, a lot of people don't scrape the snail. When you scrape it, you see that there's a lot of dirt. Yeah? And in between here, I'm going to pull my knife, scrape again. You see what is coming out? Scrape again. See what is coming out? Yeah. Then you cut it open. Yeah? This is clean now. Yeah. Taking another one in case you didn't follow what I said. This is where the slimeness is. So you cut it open. No matter how you clean, if you don't cut this place open, when you're eating it, you still feel that slime stuff. I don't like eating my snail that way. So that's why I have to clean it thoroughly to make sure all the slimeness are off. It's a very good delicacy, but it's a lot of work. And also here, you can see small, small bits of the shell. You have to rub it hard so that the pieces of the shell can go off. It's not good eating the snail with a shell. So I'm gonna scrape it again. This is what you get. Eat if you don't scrape it, this. No matter how you clean it, doesn't go off completely so you scrape it and you go in between scrape this is not very good yeah so now this is completely cleaned Put it in a clean water. This is what it looks like. I have a lot of them, so I might not be able to finish the video. When I'm done, when I'm about to cook it, I will start another video. Thank you very much.